What's up, YouTube? This is DEFCON 3 coming at you from somewhere here on Spaceship Earth, working a graveyard shift. I cannot tell you how many times I have restarted this video. I just keep uh, losing my train of thought. I keep, um, I don't know, man, it's just not working out. But um, so we're going to rehash a topic from a couple days ago. Uh, I got a lot of people in uh, commenting about my objection to carrying a baton, right? And if you don't know what a baton is, it's it's a piece of sidearm that you carry on you, piece of protection. It's a, basically a little pipe and you whip it out and it extends to like a longer pipe. And I suppose you can hit somebody with it to um, command their obedience if they are acting out. I mean, that's pretty much what it's for. Um, I'm totally against it, man. Those things, um, the first thing I don't like about the baton is that you have to get certified to uh, carry it. Um, and whenever there's certification, there's rules. And if anybody has ever been certified in carrying one, you're going to find that you're not supposed to hit somebody in the head with it. You're not supposed to um, do anything that would be like a deadly strike. What, what it's meant to do is to... Um, apprehend somebody or to get somebody to submit through pain that's that's what they're for so you would take this baton and you would hit them on their thigh or on their shoulder really hard and hope that they give in man try doing that to somebody who is high on pcp six foot two and a natural born street fighter they are going to beat your ass no doubt excuse my language but it just it's it wouldn't work man trust me the last thing you want if somebody is coming at you is to allow them to get within two or three feet of you so you can actually use that thing. I would not allow somebody to even get that close to me. I'll go for my pepper spray. I'll go for my taser. Those are two uh, less than lethal options that, um, that I find are more effective than the baton. Pepper spray, I don't care how big you are, how fast you are. If somebody sprays you in the face with that, it's game over for you. You're blinded. Look at videos on YouTube where people are in protests or riots. They get sprayed with uh, pepper spray. It stops them instantly. So why not go for that? A taser, uh, man, I've got mixed reviews about that. I've seen videos where <clears throat> people get tased and then they just stand right up or they pull the, the uh, actual probes right out of them and it does nothing. So the taser is a good visual deterrent. It may scare some people. As far as its effectiveness, I don't know. But the good news is if uh, you do have to utilize the taser, you can do it from like 20 feet away. So if it does mess up, you can always go for your pepper spray right after, right? The baton, man, you got to literally be within a few feet of the person in order for it to work. And like I said, that's the last thing I want is to have somebody like right next to me um while i'm trying to hit them in the shoulder with this thing why not hit them in the head well because you're not supposed to if you take the class you'll find that you're supposed to hit them on the fatty or meaty part of their body i.e their hips or their thighs or their shoulders so yeah what they're <laughs> telling you to do is somebody's coming at you some big dude's trying to like nail you they want you to take this baton and whack them on the side of their body until they submit to the pain Dude, that's so lame. That will never work. It is dangerous. And I don't know why um, people still carry them. It's so primitive. Uh, given what we're up against nowadays with people carrying uh, weapons and modified knives, why the heck would I want to carry a baton? If I was like, anyway, dude, I, there's no argument. I, like I said, I read some of the comments. You guys have some great points. Even people that uh, insist on carrying them. Your points were extremely valid, but this is just where I'm coming from, man. I, I um, I just, I just can't see, um, I can't see using one, and it looks bad. Somebody mentioned in one of the comments, uh, I think it was uh, Mr. Freeman, he mentioned that it looks horrible on camera, and he's right. Could you imagine if you justly used one, right? And uh, they wanted to take you to court. You know how bad it looks hitting somebody with this metal pipe. On camera, you really look like a, a, a douche hitting somebody with that. It's horrible. Um, beating somebody with that, just I don't care what they did. It just 
it makes you look like the bad guy. So it's just another reason to, to not want to carry one. Um, <clears throat> man, I've refilmed this video so many times that I don't even know what I've talked about and what I haven't talked about yet. Uh, if you do get a baton, you have to get certified. You have to go through a course. And again, within that course, you're going to learn that you're not supposed to ever hit somebody in the head because then it becomes a lethal weapon. Um, so therefore, again, what, what's the use of it? Just it, it becomes it's dangerous, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm trying to like not be too negative and trying to hold myself back from t saying what I really think about them. I just really don't like them. They're heavy. Uh, I don't know any situation where I would use it other than to break a window uh, if it was uh, necessary of a, on a vehicle. Um, shoot, even if a dog came at me, I would rather pepper spray it um, or maybe even tase it than try to use my baton. Uh, I will give you guys a, a solution to a baton, though, in a, in a few minutes if you just stick with me for a minute. <clears throat> um, so there you go, guys. That's just my thoughts. I'll throw in one more little caveat here. Um, the less stuff you have on you, the less you have to explain yourself if you ever have to use your firearm. Now, let me explain that. If, God forbid, I ever had to use my firearm, a jury would say, well, why didn't you pepper spray the guy? And I can argue that, well, the wind was blowing toward me and I was afraid to pepper spray him or the guy was coming at me too fast. Pepper spray wouldn't have done the trick or he had on goggles, right? So... His eyes are protected. Uh, if a jury asked me, well, why didn't you use your taser? I'd say, well, I did use it. Obviously, it was ineffective, so I had to go for my firearm. Um, and uh, another argument will be like, well, why didn't you go for your baton first and then use your firearm? So you can see the more nonsense you have on your utility belt, the more you're going to get in trouble if you ever had to use your firearm. Now, I'm not by any means telling you guys go for the firearm. Uh, I've actually de-escalated every single situation that I've ever been in with my voice. And occasionally I've pulled out my taser and uh, not, and it scared the person enough to, to back down. So I'm telling you, you don't ever have to go for your firearm. That thing is meant for like, a, a, you know, a cops and robbers scenario where you're in a bank and somebody starts shooting and they start shooting at you and then you pull out your firearm. But you never pull out your firearm to intimidate or to try to get somebody to submit or yeah i mean you guys are professional enough hopefully to know that right but uh, i'm just saying god forbid it ever comes down to your firearm i don't want anybody ever saying well why didn't you go for this or why didn't you go for that so you know really the less stuff you have on your belt the less likely they are to um question why you didn't why you went straight for your firearm okay um Having said that, I'm going to do a small product review, but this is my answer to a baton. If you want to carry something that has almost the same qualities as a baton, but you don't want to get certified in it, get yourself one of these. Bam! Look at this flashlight. I don't know if you could tell, but this is like aircraft grade uh, aluminum or... Yeah, it is aluminum material. This right here is really like... <laughs> Man, I don't even know where to start with this thing. Okay, so it's called a Bushnell, Bushnell, right? Bushnell 1500 Pro flashlight. This thing, look how long it is. It's about one foot in length. You could use this as a baton. And trust me, you don't need a license to uh, any kind of certification to carry this thing around. And it can get the job done. Again, hardened steel edges. You know what this is for, right? Boom, breaking glass. Look at that lens in there. That thing is absolutely huge. This is 1500 lumens. And when I tell you it's 1500 lumens, it is true lumens. CRE lens, which means it is actually 1500 lumens. All right. So this thing has four different modes. It's got strobe. It's got high. It's got low. And then it's got an SOS pattern. The high on here is really high. It's such a bright light that it actually makes a humming sound when it lights up because it is like powerful. Uh, it'll give you about two hours of runtime um, if you have it on high. If you have it on low, get this, you get 24 hours 
worth of um, light out of it on low. What I love about it is it's rechargeable. You turn this little thing right here. Let's see where it's at. I'm trying to, of course. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this little thing right here turns, right? I don't know if you can see it. There you go. And what it does is it exposes a little charging port right here. You can use your phone charger to charge this thing up, right? Or if you turn it some more, and since it's dark, we can't really get a good look on this. But if you turn it more, you see there's a little USB jack here. You know what that's for? Yep, you got that right. It's to charge your phone or any other um, item that you may need to charge. It doesn't use that big of a battery capacity. But so you've got a little charging port here. And if you turn it around to the side, you've got yourself a part uh, port to charge your actual flashlight. Uh, your on and off button is right here. But, um, and there you go. The bottom line is, and I was giving you a butt um, well, here's the butt um, but um, this thing can be used as a baton, right? It's super, super uh, rigid. I wouldn't say it's really heavy because, again, it's made out of aircraft aluminum. But, guys, why not carry this on you and not worry about the whole getting certified to carry a baton? And, uh, again, it's just a tool. It's not really considered a weapon. It's, it's a tool. It's a flashlight, right? So if you're going to carry a flashlight, uh, this would be the one to get. I'm going to put it in my affiliates link. Check it out. But this is one of the brightest flashlights that I have. I showed you guys. Oh, I was going to show you the other flashlight. But then uh, that's what I'm using to light up the uh, cabin here with. But that other flashlight I have, this one is about five times brighter. So if, if you thought that other flashlight was bright, man, this one right here really lights up the sky. And the reason why is because this lens is really fat. Uh, it's really hard to tell by the video. But it's such a thick lens. Uh, my other one is about half this size. So again, it's got a built-in battery. It recharges. It's shockproof, waterproof, probably bulletproof. Um, it's got a little thing right here that you could flip the switch off. So in case you want to carry this in a duffel bag and you accidentally press this on button, it's not going to be running all night. Um, and then, you know, when you get it in the morning, it's totally depleted the battery. So you got to flip this little switch right here. You just go click just like that. And now this thing can illuminate. Uh, matter of fact, let's see if we can get this to work. Oh, there we go. All right. So this thing is so bright. I mean, yeah, I guess you, this doesn't really help you guys at all. But you can see it looks like daylight in here right now. I'm just basically aiming it at the uh, ceiling here. So it is a really bright. It's a white light. Uh, it really does mimic sunlight pretty well. Um, it has a little um, hole in here where you can stick a lanyard through. But um, anyways, this is your Bushnell. Uh, if you want something that could uh, replicate the likeness of a baton, I'd say get one of these and skip the whole getting a certification for a baton. And then, of course, you have to recertify right every couple of years. All right. So just get yourself one of these. You can tell I'm already getting tired. I'm <laughs> burned out. And the problem is, man... I have tried to record this video, I'm not kidding, like 10 times already. Every time I got like one minute into it, I would stop and record. And then somebody came up to my car and asked me a question. And then uh, I lost my train of thought. There was a moment there where I was literally, I was doing such a great video. Well, at least I felt like I was. And then I just sat there and thought, okay, what, what, what was I going to say? And then I sat there for like 10 seconds and said, all right, that's not acceptable. Let's restart the video. So my voice is already crackling from talking so much. Um, so there you go, guys. Uh, hey, guess what? I got um, today 200 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I think I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, matter of fact, I will. I'm going to figure out what to give away. Um, huh. I will figure it out. Maybe I'll give away a flashlight or something. But I'm trying to rack up money on my Amazon affiliates link. And then I'm going to take that money... And then buy something with it and then use it to give it away to you guys. So that money is not really going into my pocket. But basically it's going to uh, back to you guys. So when you do get a chance, just click on that Amazon affiliate link. Even if you're not going to buy one of my products. Just like for example, let's say you clicked on my Amazon affiliate link. And then you went and bought some diapers, right? I would get some sort of credit for you buying those diapers even though you didn't buy my product so just by clicking on my link 
which takes you to Amazon and then purchasing something completely different. It helps me out. And then I take that money and I turn around and I give it back to you guys. As of now, I have $8.03 uh, accumulated into that account, which, you know, it's not bad. I mean, I like to get like 30 bucks or something um, so I can take that and then purchase something to or maybe hand out gift cards every once in a while in a giveaway. Uh, but today being a milestone, 200 subscribers, I think I'm just going to use my own money or give away something I already own that might be worthy. Uh, when I get home, I'll try to figure something out. Um, otherwise, um, that's it, guys. I appreciate it. I wanted to get a video out tonight. I'm sorry uh, if uh, if uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, I don't even know what to say anymore. All right, guys, I'm messing up. You guys take care. Hey, know your value. Know your worth. Be safe.